Hello, fairgoers, hello, storytellers, and hello, world. Welcome to Reader's Magnet's featured author interview. My name is Frank, and today we have a very special guest. Um, one of the authors who's very dear to me because this is actually her third time in the show. Yes, we have Yelena Baryshevska. Hi, Hi, Yelena. Hi, Frank. It's so great to be here again. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. So for everyone's knowledge, Yelena is actually our, our amazing Bonanza level three winner. Yay. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so Yelena, so how, how do you feel, you know, being announced as the winner when you receive that phone call? Uh, that was amazing. I didn't expect that because I know there's a lot of authors, great yes. authors out there. So I really appreciate Readers Magnet giving me the opportunity. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm uh, really grateful for it. <laughs> there were actually a lot of titles um, when the uh, during the roulette uh, happened. And I was really hoping and praying that you get to win because you really have a very good story. By the way, for everyone's knowledge, Yelena published her debut book entitled She Let God Write Her Story. Right, Yelena? Yes. Yes, All that's right. the first novel. Okay. Yelena is originally from Ukraine, and at the age of 17, um, they transferred to Vancouver. Get yeah, right? Yes, that. Okay. Yeah, America's Vancouver. Okay. Yelena, can you tell us more about it? Um, yes, I'd love to. Um, I write uh, a lot about it in the book, even though it's a fiction, but it's based, um, a lot of it is based on my uh, personal story. So when I was um, almost 17, uh, back in September of uh, 2001, um, our family had, um, after the long uh, process of Doc, uh, making sure the documents are all set. Uh, we um, had our tickets all set for uh, September, September 26 in 2001. And uh, just about two weeks before that, that's when September 11 happens. Um, so we, uh, of course, have to trust God. The whole family had to trust God on guiding us. We, um, we had a lot of uh, people wondering if we're still gonna go or or stay back in Ukraine, but um, everything, uh, even with all the challenges, um, um, we managed to get through all of it and um, came uh, to America's Vancouver. My uh, oldest sister lived here, so uh, we definitely wanted to reunite. And uh, even though we had to live our uh, other siblings there, but we had a plan for them to come to um, America as well. Mm -hmm. um, some of the experiences or dif difficult experiences was uh, leaving um, my friends in uh, school, a uh, church. Um, I was, uh, it was my last year of high school. Uh, and uh, so I had to kind of let all of it go and start from the beginning. It's, I cannot imagine, you know, how was it like for you? Because you were very young, you were 17 years old, and then you have friends in Ukraine, you know, uh, at the age of 17, that would be very painful leaving your friends. And at the same time, not everyone in the family, right? Like, just like what you've mentioned earlier. So what was running in your mind at that time? Um, I was, um, I had a lot of different things going in my mind, but um, what kept me grounded and uh, was giving me a hope for the future, uh, uh, that knowing that God had my future in control and uh, uh, because he was guiding my parents, uh, trusted God to guide um, our family. So we knew that that was something God um, was guiding us alone through. Um, so uh, my faith, knowing that God had my future in control and that he would give me um, 
uh, new friends and uh, that he would um, help me in <laughs> all the uncertainties and things that I had no idea about. Uh, that was my my rock, my faith in right. God. <laughs> nice, interesting, amazing. So putting God in control of our lives, which actually is your book, what your book is all about. You know, she let God write her story yeah can you tell us you know for those who weren't able to watch the first two sessions we have can you share it to our audience what is this book all about and how did you come up with the title uh, so the story is uh, about a girl uh, kind of like me who moved from the uh, ukraine to the united states shortly after september 11 and how her faith in God uh, puts her through challenges and trials of life. Um, just uh, some basic um, everyday challenges, school, um, um, her uh, new, new friendships and uh, family, uh, things like that, that she uh, trusted God with. Um, uh, I also talk about her trusting God with her uh, school journey, uh, her finding uh, her work, and uh, um, uh, those are some things that we experience every day. But um, I wanted to, um, uh, for readers to see that God wants to be uh, with us in those everyday challenges that others might not thing that's a big deal, but God wants um, wants us to uh, trust Him and rely on Him in those uh, simple things. This reminds me of the footprints in the sand, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. you may feel like God is not with you because you're you feel like you're totally lost, but actually He's carrying you at that point. I love that. I do have yeah. a, someone. Uh, one of our first Christmases in America, we had a youth uh, Christmas in uh, was it Secret Santa mm -hmm. gift, and someone yes. gave me a a pan and a bookmark that's that uh, says that and I always keep it in my office. That always helps me. <laughs> what is the uh, is there anything in the bookmark that says you know any motivational quote? Uh, do you mean in my book? Oh, yes, please. Can you share it to our audience? Um, for those who are watching us live, that is, okay, there you go. Yelena Boroshevska's book, She Let God Write Her Story. Yel we have a trivia. Okay, for you guys who's watching, that girl on the cover, yes, is actually Yelena. <laughs> That would be me, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yelena, is there any phrase or line in the book that you loved the most? And um, can you read it to us and tell us more about it? Uh, I uh, There's a lot of uh, sections uh, in the book that are very special to me. Uh, but I uh, do, um, I'm going to read this part here on page 77. Um, about uh, when uh, Lena was about 15, she read this life uh, changing uh, book by Canadian missionary. Um, uh, the book was called Stones of Fire. The story is about a young woman who is transformed by God into a rare gem, a stone of fire. The book was definitely a turning point for Lena. She was dedicated, she has dedicated her life to God before. But after reading the book, she will always remember her talk to God and the commitment she has made. She wanted to be one of those gemstones for his glory one day. Um, it's uh, uh, one of my favorite sections, her commitment to God. Our, um, this book that I mentioned, it was actually very special to me when um, I read it and I um, had a, a strong desire to be and gemstone for God's glory as well. Interesting. You know, um, we need to be God's uh, warriors, right? Okay. Absolutely. So aside from, you know, being in the real estate business, 
um, Elena is also a loving mom to an eight-year-old, to her eight-year-old daughter. How is it like being a mom to Ashley? It's um, amazing. It's one of the best journeys that, uh, that I'm still taking <laughs> for the last eight years. Um, she and is, she's now in her formative years, so you really need to be there with her. Absolutely. I'm actually, we actually having a great summer, uh, spending quite a bit of time. She even comes with me on some of my um, real estate showings. Okay, um, cool. I really my, I appreciate when my clients are okay with that. And um, uh, we are spending quite a bit of uh, time uh, just relaxing and uh, we uh, she she loves God she loves Jesus and uh, uh, she loves going to Christian school which she didn't go the first couple years of her life or her uh, school years uh, but now she's um, excited and she wants to be there for the rest of her school life so I am super um, happy that we have that opportunity and I wish um, all the kids uh, in America and around the world would be given the opportunity, the opportunity. to talk God and definitely not be forced, but give the give, be given the opportunity to learn about God and his mercy and grace and his perfect salvation plan so they could make that choice. I love that. And you're very lucky to, you know, have that time with Ashley and at the same time, you know, doing your job, right? Being a real, real in the real estate business, right? Uh, for having that opportunity, and um, yeah, and I've heard from the team that we now have your website up and running. It's triple w dot yelena baryshevska dot com. Congratulations! Thank you. I love right. the design that was made for it, and. Uh... We are in the works. I, I just received the first blogs that, uh, that are under works, and I'm excited to go through them and um, get them going. Okay, perfect. People. You are not, no longer just a real estate business, uh, into a real estate business. You aren't just an author. You know, you aren't just a mom, but you now are also a blogger. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Yelena, are we expecting um, upcoming titles or upcoming books in the next months or probably before the year ends? Not before the end of the year, um, unless unless I win a lottery or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> then I sit down and write it. <laughs> um I uh, do have, uh, uh, I have started writing the kids book. Um, I was inspired by my, my daughter, Ashley. She kept asking, um, uh, mommy and daddy, why did you pick me a school where they never talk about God? So I do have that written, which I just have to start the process um, of publishing. Okay. Um, and then I, I have an outline for a second book uh, where I would write the, um, more about the characters of Shilad Got Write Her Story. Oh, all right. So for those who are watching us live, uh, live, if you um, want to learn more about Yelena, you can always visit her website. It's www.yelenabaryshevskaya.com. You can grab a copy of the book title, She Let God Write Her Story. And I need you all to stay tuned to her upcoming materials. All right. Okay. Can you show the book title, uh, the book cover again, Elena? All right. There you go. There. Okay. Elena, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Likewise. It's always great talking to, with you. Thank you so much. And again, grab a copy of Yelena's book. It's www.yelenabaryshevskaya.com. It's also available in Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Yelena, thank you so much. I hope to see you again. Same here. Thank All you, right. Rita. With Reader's Magnet, we share your stories with the world.